and stayed up all night long. Made we ready? Too strong. Oh my gosh, Sam Hunt, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was an impeccable Sam Hunt impression. You sounded just like him. <laughs> Thank you, partner. <laughs> partner. He's actually known for wearing like a trucker hat or like a baseball cap. Thank you, partner. There you go. Just trying to help you for your... Impersonation. For, for when you dress as him at Comic-Con. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going as Sam Hunt, the country singer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to No Bummers, everyone. It's a podcast where we talk about whatever we want. And the only rule is no, no bummers. bummers. Each week we talk about something that we have been hyper fixated on. And each of us has also prepared a topic that the other hosts don't know ahead of time. My name is Cade. My name is Jackie. And my name is Morgan. Very serious podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ultra serious podcast that we've only done once. <laughs> I tried Welcome. to play a game with Morgan where we did a fake newscast earlier and she didn't play with me. Oh. Do you want to try? <laughs> yeah. Good evening. Thank you for coming to, to the news. <laughs> really Horrible tragedy tonight dead. as 144 are dead at the Marshmallow Factory. We go to Jackie in the field with more. Hey, guys. You're, <laughs> you're not going to like this. Um. Yeah, 144 dead. <laughs> wow, what happened? <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'll, 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 ask them, I'll ask someone who's alive. <laughs> Ma'am? Yes. I know you've been through severe trauma You today. wouldn't believe. I'm missing an arm. How did it? <laughs> okay, I'll grab onto this one. <laughs> How did... What? The ex explosion? <laughs> Tell me exactly what, what you remember. What are you asking? Tell me what you remember. I, you know what? I was at my post. At, Where? At the marshmallow making pot. That <laughs> I just saw a wall of white. That's all I can remember. Did the marshmallow come out of the pot yes. and then into your face? Yes. How did you lose your arm? Well, that's, that's an entirely different that's story. That's a personal question. <laughs> So, so you losing your arm had nothing to do with the accident. No. <laughs> All right, back to you, Kate. Wow. Horrifying stuff. Yeah. Hopefully my marshmallow mateys and also the lucky charms <laughs> will not be disrupted. Yeah. Wait, babies or mateys? <laughs> marshmallow mateys? It's, okay. a, it's a generic lucky charms. Oh, okay, oh. Got, got it. I thought you said marshmallow babies. <laughs> And I was like, huh? In the one earlier, all of the Muppets died in the explosion. No wonder she didn't want to participate. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so They're sad. only my favorite people. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's talk about that for a minute. What about the no. one that says meet me? Do you like him better than me? Beaker? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Beaker's better than me. Animal? Uh, pretty, yeah. Same vibe. He's pretty cool. All of the okay. non-verbal Muppets, just consider them. Like the Swedish chef. <laughs> and the chicken. Is that you? And the chimney? The chicken. <laughs> no, a chimney's better than me. <laughs> the chicken? Yes. Where? Where? Is Gonzo married to the chicken? <laughs> He's either married or just in love with the or chicken. With the chicken. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, some he's kind of weird relationship some, with the chicken. Not right. <laughs> but he's an alien, so doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, cool. So you like them all better than me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't <take> Never. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, My hyperfixation <laughs> for the week um, is called "Strangers" by Mount Joy. It's a good little vibe. Look it up. <laughs> you said it was like Noah Folksy. Khan. Kind Noah Khan, but with a cool beat drop. I just played it for Cade. What do you think? 10 out of 10. Okay, cool. Would recommend. So would I, Morgan. I didn't hear it yet, but I <laughs> have added it to my list, so I'll listen tonight. That is tender. Okay, cool. <laughs> when she's all curled up in her bed. No. In her, with her, her sleeping cap on. 
<gasps> okay, I just have something to say about the sleepy time bear. Oh, I knew it. He is so cute. He is very cute. <laughs> have you guys seen him? Did That's you know? Here's the sleepy time. <laughs> Can I ruin you, sleepy time tea for you? No, because no. wait one second. So Trent, you're gonna put the sleepy time there right here. Why? What do you have to say um, about it? The owner of it is a member of a cult. That's okay. So just I, like I've drunk like, it before, which so I'm fine. Cult? Um, the I think he was a Mooney. It's a Mooney. <laughs> He moved people a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're just blue. That's not a people. cult. That's just <laughs> they, I might be wrong. It might not be the Moonies, but he's a part of a like a reasonably sized The Moonies cult. is such a dumb name because it's the like Moonies cult. were from South Korea. Or they started in South Korea. So that actually might not be right. I don't, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I know he was part of a cult, anyway. but I don't think he owns it. Like, I think he sold it. That bear, that though, is so cute. He's he a cutie. So he has cute. little slippers. He's just winding down for the night. I'm serious. That's what you should be for Halloween. He's like, Yeah, that would be him. a good Halloween costume. He has a sleeping cap. He's just sitting on his chair. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so cute. You should have one of our friends dress up as an armchair. <laughs> <laughs> and a cup of tea. Do you remember like when we went to that haunted house and they made me sit on the chair and then it was a person? It would be like that. Yucky. Except you would know. Dang. <laughs> Maybe. I'll ask around. <laughs> Kate, what's your hyperfixation? Oh, are you looking up the cult issue? Yeah. This isn't super... I just like that sentence that I highlighted for you. Oh, yeah. No, he... I think it was the the Moonies, your rancha book. But yeah, it says today Celestial Seasoning is the largest tea manufacturer in North America. But there's more to this story than simply a comforting cup of tea, one that involves conspiracies, eugenics, and aliens. Oh my goodness. And a sweet little bear. And a cute the cutest little bear you ever did see. I really though. He's so cute. If, if you just like look at the picture a lot, you're like Kiss Mary Kill, the Sleepy Time Bear, Paddington, and Pooh. Okay. <laughs> mean. That's okay, kiss mean. Mary. Okay. Mary Sleepy Time Bear. Okay. Because I get to see that every Forever. night. Him just winding down. <laughs> so cute. Um, kill Paddington. Wow. I don't really know. Bold choice. Yeah, and I kiss Pooh. Kiss Pooh Bear. Mm -hmm. He's a cutie pie. <laughs> One time we were at Disneyland and. Morgan's mom was like, Jackie, go stand over by Pooh Bear because I wanted to. And then they were like, it was like COVID. So they're like, we have strict rules. They're like, girl, you got to get in line. And so I'm like. And, like, and my mom's like, no, 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 just stand there. And she's like, I'm literally getting yelled at. I know. And your mom's like, it's fine. Stand there. And then the lady's <laughs> like, ma'am, there is a line. Like, just like so. Diane. I know. And I was just like. I'll see. I'll see. My, I think we got a picture. I think we do. Have it I'll somewhere. try to remember to send you the picture, but I'm like, I'll text you that. <laughs> just look very awkward. And your mom's like, and the workers like pointing and yelling in the background. I yeah. I I don't know what we got. I we'll have to That's learn. That's so funny. But anyway, uh, what about you, Morgan? What's your hyperfixation? Um, pretending to be a news anchor. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think my hyperfixation this week has been my family, which seems Adorable. like kind of weird, but I just have like been really involved with them. I went and visited my sister Danielle and her family on Sunday and my sister Jessica and her family got back from this like big family reunion on her husband's side. Um, so I talked to her for like three hours because we just hadn't talked in like a week and a half. And then my mom is driving to Nauvoo. She's actually there now to do sewing for the pageants. And she sent me She's precious. these like random to me, very random pictures. And she was like, guess what I'm doing right now? Ha ha ha. And I was like looking at the pictures and I could not figure out. She was listening to our podcast. Oh, that's <laughs> adorable. Like, she had They're like really obscure pictures. It was like, like a picture of Adam Driver and then a picture of someone doing like a PK turn because I had told that story <laughs> about me pantsing myself at dance class. And, <laughs> and so she that's like, still one of my just like favorite, favorite <laughs> when stories. When she first told me, my throat was closing and I was crashing. You might have that one. 
it was early on. <laughs> yeah. But oh. long story short, Morgan was doing a turn and then she put pulled her, her own up. pants down. <laughs> and then she yanked her pants down. Uh-huh. And then the only one other girl saw it. She was like pulling her pants back up as fast as she Maybe we should do it. like a episode that's like best of where we ask like each other to tell our favorite stories that the other that the person, other person has. has told yeah. hands down mm. the pantsing story <laughs> yeah easy every time i hear it i giggle <laughs> but yeah so i think my family have just been like very involved and in talking to them and figuring stuff out so adorable it's been a good time what about you um mine is a song by nick d and connor price called gasoline and we don't have to share the subsequent story that also followed because you did already share that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, especially funny that that was just my hyperfixation this week. Yeah. Because it's a good song and no other reason. It's so <laughs> weird to have like a song be your hyperfixation. Like it's weird to like get in the car and be like, I know exactly what I'm going to play. And it's just like the same song like every day. <laughs> yeah. It's first gasoline and then take your problems to the disco. Very so, nice. that's just been your in second favorite place. for like six months. It's so good. It is. I can't good. get enough. I put it on the volleyball playlist. So if you ever come again, it'll be on there for you. It's rude as hell. But. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. If you I'm ever, just. I'm just. If you ever come, uh, for you. It's so fun. Let's take a break. Who's right. going first? I can go. Okay, so today in my staff meeting. We d- we did like a team building exercise where we had to come up with, <laughs> we did Shark Tank for oh, our fun. work. So oh. we had to come up with an invention and then present it to my my bosses. And um, so I wanna know what invention you would bring to Shark Tank. I'm ready. Okay. I've actually talked about this with a couple different people before. Okay. And we've come up with a lot of different ideas, but the one that I like the most is like, it's like a little multi-tool that has like a bunch of different things on it to clean your phone and like your AirPods and stuff like that. So there's like a little brush on there to like brush the dust out. And then there's like a little uh, like cotton swab type piece that like you can use to like swab out the inside. And then there's like a toothpick thing to like I don't know how many of you guys have AirPods, but sometimes it gets a little gross in there. <laughs> you can pick out the gunk out of your AirPods, but it's just like one little compact thing that you can put on your keychain. That's so smart. you just always have it with you. Okay. That's really um, smart. So what do you what? What's the percentage of the company what I get? Steak? What am I giving? <laughs> I mean, I feel like they'd be pretty easy to make. How? Because you could probably just three D print it. Okay. And it, like it wouldn't be very big. Okay. How, what about mass production? So would you 3d print for everything or no, just, the just to get off the ground? Got it. I think. Um, and then we would do, uh, like cast like plastic casting or something probably. Okay. But I'll say, um, if you give me $250,000, okay. I'll give you 25% stake in my company. Yeah, I accept. Easy. Easiest I've ever made. Cool. It's a billion dollar idea. You don't even have a prototype. Jokes on you. <laughs> oh, and you brought a prototype, ma'am. I <laughs> here it is. Uh, I'm not much of an inventor, so I have like no concept of how I would make this happen. But I wish that there was like like a thneed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody needs a thneed. Yeah, um, they do. I wish that <laughs> there was like a way to turn like a regular bathtub, like to have jets that you could just like install really easy into like oh. a regular bathtub. I don't like, I have no concept of how to like make that happen. But it'd be but, cool yeah, if you like could something do, you like, put on your faucet. Yeah. <laughs> or, or something like or, that. Or like suction cup to the side or I don't know, like yeah. how that it you turns would do your that. any tub into a jacuzzi. Yeah, cuz I I love my I have a tub in my room right now and it's like nice and big and it's awesome, but I do wish that it had jets That'd On the so fly, fun. what would you name it? Just rapid fire. <laughs> like literally. Just fun. just say the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> Tub yeah. koozie. Uh, there you Tub- go. That's great. I'm going to steal his idea. 
Okay. Well, you don't want to tell me yours? No, I think that was great. Okay. Tub koozie. You don't have any other ideas? No. And what about jet tub? Sure, that works great too. Bath jet. <laughs> jet, jet, jet. Instajet. <laughs> Instajet is good. Yeah, you're brilliant. <laughs> See? Okay. Um, and yeah, I have no idea what that would look like, but I think it would be really nice. Comment down below cool. what you would call Morgan's jet, jet company invention. Okay. Yeah. And I'm asking for $300,000, 2% stake. No. 2%. And I'm going to just take your money and leave the country so you'll never see me again. I'm going to take your $300,000 and move. I'm going to Tahiti, so I'll have fun with like my... Really jet tub in the past, and I'm just <laughs> taking my money and going. Yeah. 2% stake doesn't cut it for me. I would. I personally wouldn't say yes to that Get her, shark. <laughs> Why not? Get her. Twenty percent. Tear her apart. All right. It doesn't matter what stake you have in my company because I'm just taking twenty percent. Because I think that will sell. Okay. It would sell. I, that feels very much like a uh, late at night. Like you wake I've up groggily TV. and it's like <laughs> groggily. And I am standing on the the rotating platform at QVC. <laughs> You're like, hey guys, yeah. have you ever have you ever it? wanted jets in your tub? Get a look at Morgan's magic jet. <laughs> oh, that's fun. See? Brilliant. <laughs> um, I so I made this one up at work. Can't wait. And so I'm gonna tell you guys about it. So it's gonna be at every company, and you go in, scan your fingerprint. I'm with you. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. And they're like, okay, it's Kate. So then it's going to Dispense your favorite drink of choice. <gasps> I know. We love to see it. Wow, I love it already. Okay. So you just install this like as an extra room on top of, like on your building. Like, so scan gets it, your favorite drink. Mm -hmm. Um, It has a bottle filler because everybody loves those. Yeah. Pebble ice. Ah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The, it dispenses a snack because sometimes I forget to pack my lunch when I go to work and then I'm just like going with I God. Eat? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and so so then I'm like, okay, if it gives me a snack, awesome. And then there's like another section. This is just for old Jackie, but a cold room because. Oh, I don't like that. Well, Why? Um, I would rather not be cold, well, but thanks for the offer. Listen. I would not like one at my business. Okay. Well, listen, <laughs> you don't so, have to go into the cold room. Yeah, it's not, that's not where the drink is. <laughs> no. So because it's so fetching hot at my work, um, there's just like a little room that you can just stand in. We called it a body cooler, <laughs> but well, just, that sounds like uh, something the serial killer might that's, like. That's what my boss said too. Okay, so. but <laughs> <laughs> but um, you just stand in there, take a breather because sometimes work can be stressful. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like hot and like when I'm like overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So sometimes just like a moment in the cooler, and then you have your diet coke, and then you can chew on some pebble ice if you want later. Not to, to uh, like try and add on to your idea. Will you accept I will. an addition? What if in the cold room there's also like a pillow that you can just like punch? Yeah, yeah. Like a self-care. Or like a punching bag. Yes. That yeah. it's like you're angry and you just need to like blow off some steam. Mm -hmm. You come into the cool it, room. It should be. Cool. It should be. Yeah. And get a couple swings out and then you're chill. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. So um, that's what I would invent because I think. Is this that, like the size of a vending machine? No, it's. Probably, or it's like it a might closet. Be like this, it might be like the size of like a kitchen. Okay. And so then you're like, okay, I'm going to clock in, get my Oh, drink. it clocks you in too. It clo yeah. Clocks oh, you okay. in. Get your drink. It's like, okay. It like scans and like Cade. And then it'll be like, okay, Cade wants a Coke Zero dispenses it and then you're like 
and then there's like an add-on section and you're like, okay, like I want like a cup a of granola bar. Yeah. Also a granola bar. Also a cup of like pebble ice. I like to just chew on ice, but, um, so if you want a cup of pebble ice too, great. <laughs> um, and then you have all your things and then you go into the workforce. Yeah. I like that as kind of like a, a nice way to start your day and you just have like, yeah, what jobs, need. what job wouldn't want? Cause that's going to keep a cold your, room. yeah, well that's kind of silly, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like, I think that kind of drink dispense, like that yeah. kind of thing to get Maslow's hierarchy of needs met at work. I think we'd be in business. I love that. All That's I'm good. asking is a small loan of a million dollars. And yeah. Um well what we asked for like we just need a hundred thousand dollars and for twenty five percent stake in our company. Oh. And that's a pretty good deal. That was a good deal. Yeah, because it I think we were like, okay, it costs like ten thousand to make. So we charge a business twenty thousand, but and then it creates jobs too. Because then you have to have someone to go refill, refill stuff. Yeah, maintenance. So we're creating change out jobs. the pillows. It's good for the economy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, job creator, right here, a jackie of all trades. Ah. Uh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm out. Don't like the cold room. I'm in. I have <laughs> three hundred thousand to spend. <laughs> I but like relaxation room. You're like I need fifteen minutes. Like switch out your coat. Well, it's yeah. a little different at my work because it's like I don't know. I like sometimes I'm like I don't want to deal with them right now. So like I need a break and then I'll go to like Maverick. Maybe <laughs> and then maybe you could call it like the relaxation room and then you can have that part customizable to the business. Yes. So if it's like they're construction workers, they can go into the cold room. That would be perfect for their needs. Yes. Or if it's like a different room, they could there's like they a could put like a massage chair. chair and have oh, it be like dark in sure. there. You know, like yes. so it's a customizable room to whatever their experience is. Or, or like, like if it's like gloomy weather and they just need some UV lights. Yeah. Right. Or I and know you charge winter. different amounts for the different rooms. Yeah. yeah. But because like the UV light room, easy. Yeah. That's a cheap option. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I know um, a lot of, like, women talk about how cold it gets in office buildings during the summer. So maybe a roasty toast So maybe room. then it, beca- or, like, maybe you could switch it out. Like, Should we have the room be remote control? Like, so you're like, this is what I need. That yeah. sounds pretty expensive. So I think we could definitely charge, like, 30000 for that. If they want to, so. If they want to have it changeable, like, in the moment... I need they a cold room. I need a themselves. UV room. I need a warm room. That would be like a huge upgrade versus just like we know that all of our workers want a cold room. We're getting a cold room. Got it. I think it's awesome. Yeah. And I sold it today too. So I'm going to use 100,000 of the 300,000 I stole from you and we're in business. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> I was like, ah. I thought I recognized you from somewhere. <laughs> she rips off my fake mustache. <laughs> No. <laughs> You're not in Fiji anymore. <laughs> uh, Did everyone go? Yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> um, I can go next. Okie doke. So I have brought a little, it's not a game, but I wanted to play Am I the A-hole with you guys. <gasps> Okay. I love these. <laughs> uh, okay. How fun is this? So I'm going to read you one and we're, then we're going to talk about it. Cause I, I don't know. Every, I feel like every time I read or hear one of these, I'm like, well, duh, obviously like uh-huh. the answer is this. They always make like the caption be like, yeah, you are. And then they tell the story and then you're like, mm, no, maybe yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So am I the a-hole? My girlfriend 31 female and I, 36 male, have been together for about two years now. We live together. About nine months ago, I picked up running as a hobby and I have since grown quite fond of it. I'm currently running an average of 25 miles a week. A few months ago, I decided I wanted to try a 5K or a 10K and after some Google searching, found a 5K in my city that I thought looked fun. I registered for it, I paid the fee and decided to start training specifically for it. 
cool. I mentioned it in passing to my girlfriend that night and she asked if she could come too. I was psyched about the idea of running a 5k with her and said yes, but warned that she would probably want to start training because I was going for a sub 27 minute time, which might be tough for a complete beginner. She said she would like to train with me, which again sounded fun. The next morning I woke up at 5 a.m. for my run as I usually do, but my girlfriend was not up for it and she told me she'd go later. This continued for about a week and then two weeks and then finally I managed to get her up once for a run. She was miserable the entire time and I basically didn't get any exercise. Last Friday, the day before the race, I asked if she was really up for it. She insisted that she was. She then told me that she would just skip gallop like she used to with her mile runs in school. I asked her to demonstrate what a skip gallop was. <laughs> oh no. And I she- like her style, but not going to work. <laughs> yeah, I was reading it and I got to this part and I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> uh, I asked her to demonstrate what a skip gallop was and she showed me this bizarre sidestepping gallop as if she had casts <laughs> on her legs. Oh, no. I told her it seemed like a really inefficient way to run, but she insisted it always worked for her. Saturday was the day of the race, and right out of the gate, she utilized her skip gallop no! strategy. <laughs> that is awesome. No. <laughs> Two minutes in, I realized that she was already completely gassed. She started asking me to wait so we could walk together. Oh. I apologized, told her I loved her, and left her behind to finish the race. Yeah. I finished with a time of 26.43 beating nice. my goal, nice. which is very good. Yeah. After the race, I tried calling her, but she wouldn't pick up. When I made my way back to the car, I realized she had left me. I took an Uber home, and right when I walked in the door, I was met with a cry, uh, her crying about how I ditched her. I tried to calm her down and explain that she kind of brought it on herself, but she was not interested whatsoever. Yesterday, she gave me the silent treatment all day. Do I deserve what I'm getting here? No. No. Not at all. So well, this is my thoughts. He had a goal in mind that he was going to accomplish with or without her. Yes. So he was he was going to go his to original the, idea. Yes. Yeah. He was going to yeah go to the race with or without her, and then she said, "I want to do it." So he's nice in saying like, "Yeah, we can do this together," um, but like he's like, "It is like it'll be a little dicey if you're just skip galloping. Like you're <laughs> gonna need to know like just to like get your endurance up because like a five k is like six mile like no three three miles but still like yeah a lot that's a lot i mean if you have no training you right. haven't run at all right if your brand like it, it should be like a 30 minute ish race if you're not a runner right so he's like i ha- like it like he, i'm sure he said hey I want to try to get it done in under 27 minutes. So if he is voicing like, this is my personal goal, like I would 100% love you to be there. Like, cause so fun, but like, I, I need to like do this for myself kind right. of thing. Then if she supported him at all, she would be like, either like you can have this and I'll be at the finish line and then we can go get all garden. <laughs> or she could be like, oh, okay, so I got to try to get it under 30 minutes and right. then run with him every day. Or be well, comfortable or, being way behind you. Yeah, him. that's what I was going to yeah, say. Is, it, is Or say, I would love to do that with you. I think that would be so fun. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm going to do my best. Yeah, I'm going to do my best. Like, I, I can't promise I'm going to get up in the morning with you. Mm-hmm. I will run if I see fit. Um, but yeah, go on without me totally if you right. need to. Yeah, so she's wrong for sure. I just okay. think I think that sometimes like diff- people who are in a, a couple situation, they think that they have to do everything and enjoy everything together and it's just not accurate. Like Yes. I like my my sister Jessica and her husband, they enjoy like spectacularly different hobbies. Right. Like she loves going to Disneyland and he's like, that's great. You go with your sister. I don't want to go I love again. that for you. <laughs> and then like Peter likes to, I don't really know if he does it anymore, but he used to fly like model airplanes and she would be like, I'll come out maybe once a month to yeah. watch and then that's it. That's all I want to be a part of. Which is healthy. So yeah, so I think it's like some some people have this unrealistic expectation of like we have to do everything together. And then this girl had that expectation, but also wasn't realistic with herself. Didn't want to put her of own what she needed to do. Well, and that's that's where I think it's like the underlying problem is probably not just like 
her in this one scenario. Yeah. It's probably that she is very much the person who, like, we need to do everything together. Yeah. Which some people are that way, and that's fine. And it's, like, could not be me, could yeah. but that's not fine. Be me. <laughs> it's not very kind of her either to, like, hear if he's explicitly stated to her, like, I'm going goal. because I want to make right. this time. This is why I'm doing it. And then she's, she's like, oh, wait. can you wait for me after I did a skip gallop? Like, that's right. stupid. That's well, just that, dumb. That's the hard part for me is, like, and I guess the hard thing is like we're hearing one side of the story. That's true. Maybe he but didn't expressly state everything. According to him, he explained that from the very get-go of right. like I'm want to reach this goal or whatever. Yeah. But but either way, I still feel like from her her point of view, it should be like the expectation shouldn't be that we're going to stick together for this 30-minute race because it's literally just 30 minutes. Well, yeah, I would just be like, <laughs> "Hey, like I will be at the the start." Line yeah. with you. And I will see you at the end. And I will get to the end one way or another. Right. I might have Morgan pick me up and then we drive <laughs> over there. You, right. You like, you like beat him and he's like, what the? I'm like, <laughs> wait, you just finished? Sorry, yeah. I've been here for 15 minutes. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. maybe he maybe he didn't explicitly state he was trying to get that time. But at the very least, you should recognize like he's, he's been, been training. training and, he's putting right. all this work in. I have not. He is going to be much faster. Yeah, right. it's delusional if you think that you're going to be as fast as him. With a skip with gallop. With a skip gallop. Like, you maybe were <laughs> able to finish the race. Yeah. In an elementary school. But it was also probably a mile. And elementary school. Or junior maybe, high or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Like, way more energy. Yeah. Whatever. So ridiculous. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, and, and I thought this was funny, too, because, like, I'm not necessarily a runner. But, like, I have run a couple of races. Yeah. And I'm like looking at it from my point of view of like, I would be, I would be upset if I was running a race with someone and I saw them just do something super stupid, like do a horse gallop for two minutes. I would leave. And then say, will you walk with me? I would be like, no. No. <laughs> no, I will not. Like, I can't, I cannot, I can't be seen with you. If you just else, horse that would be gallop for two minutes. Yeah. Like if he would have, well, he said, I love you. Got a blast. Right. <laughs> Which, haven't we all said that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love you so much. Got a boss. Yeah, she sounds difficult. It's, and then to have it, her it just give sounds him like the silent not treatment. On the same page about yeah. that issue you brought up of like doing everything together, that it's like, no, well, it is okay for people to do different things. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be like codependent with right. anyone. Right. There's stuff you can do together and stuff you can't. There and are things you can do. <laughs> I feel like if if my boyfriend was like, "Hey, I want to run this race," it'd be like, "That's so great, honey." I will pick you up. I'll have flowers. I will see you. When you right. When you get done. We'll yeah. go to McDonald's. But even if it was the kind of thing that you like wanted to do with that person, I, like it just seems so mind boggling to me to be like, "But you have to go as slow as I want to go." Yeah. Like that's the part you that I'm like, Ooh, you can't uh -uh. be dead weight. Like if she's like earnestly trying and like right. trying to run he'll just wait for her at the finish line like right so he's like you're gonna get your best time i'm gonna get mine yeah see you yeah deuces you know? yeah love you bye i'll see you <laughs> later see i'm, you I'm glad that you guys felt that way because it this was one where i read it and i was like well obviously like i feel this way but then i was like i don't know if that's colored by me one being a man and two Having, having like run, run races. races and like knowing where his mentality is at. Yeah. If so. he were, if he, if this is the kicker. If he said, we'll finish it together. Like, right. If he would have set those expectations, then she has every right to be upset. But, and it is hard because like running the race together, not going to happen, may sound to her like one thing and to him like a completely different thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where I'm wondering if like the miscommunication yeah, came through. Yeah, there might have been a lack. Is if she's like, like well, I want to run the race with you. And he's like, that would be so fun. That would be great. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe at the start of it, he thought, okay, so then I'm going to wake her up and say like, hey, I'm going. Like if you want right. to come. So then we could run it to actually together. Right. And I wonder if she had been more proactive at like getting up and showing interest and like training with him every day. He probably would have run it with her. Yeah, right. probably. <laughs> He told her that he wants to go sub twenty seven. So right. She wants to meet that. She she, she should know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. He did she, say that. Yeah, the way they were communicating. Which a sub twenty seven is fast, yeah. but Nine it's like completely mile, doable. Right? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. like 
most of my three mile runs that I do like in a week are about 27 minutes. Amazing. So like it's, it's doable, but mm -hmm. it's not impossible. It's not crazy hard. Yeah. So if she were to train for a month or whatever he was asking, yeah. she probably Especially for a race because like oh, sorry. you go faster in a race than you do when you're just training. Like, right. you know, for I don't sure. know. Anyways, glad you guys felt that way. Cause I, I seriously was like thinking about it. Cause I was like, that's so easy. Duh. It's this. But then I was like, is that just because of these one, races. I'm a man and two, I have run before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's like common sense. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Next one. This one is more. I like um, your shirt, by the way. Thank you. You look like Spider Man. <gasps> like Spider Man. Those Pink are like the same colors blue? as like the Miguel, the vampire. Oh, one. the twenty twenty ninety nine mm -hmm. Spider Man twenty ninety nine. My boyfriend. <laughs> 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 okay, so this one. Um, I feel like there's also a an easy answer to this one but it says for as long as i 44 female have known my friend 48 male he has had a cookout for his birthday and invited friends over he always gets the same cake from the same bakery last year that bakery shut down so i had planned on trying to recreate it for him i couldn't so i decided to bring his second favorite kind of cake i waited to hear about the usual cookout and nothing was ever said so i texted him and asked he said he wasn't doing one this year because it had been so busy and I thought he still might like a cake. So I made him a German chocolate cake on his birthday. I waited until the evening and I went over to his place to drop it off. Oh no. oh, no. His girlfriend looked pissed when she answered the door, but didn't say anything. And he thanked me, but offered me a piece of the cake that his girlfriend had baked. It was a close copycat of what the bakery used to make. I usually get along all right with his girlfriend, but she didn't look happy the whole time I was there. When I left, she followed me outside and told me while it was a nice gesture, I should have asked one of them before bringing a whole other cake over because it'll probably go to waste and she could have told me to bring something else. I told her I can bring my friend treats and gifts if I want. And she retorted with just because you can do something doesn't always mean you should and went back inside. Okay. Last night, my friend texted me to thank me, but said I overstepped a little uh, by doing something for him that his girlfriend covers and usually does and that I should really start checking with her. I think she had an over-the-top reaction about the cake, but the fact that he's agreeing with her, I have to ask if I'm the one being an a-hole here. Okay. Here are my thoughts. So. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So. <laughs> very sweet of the girl to want to bake a cake for him. That's a very sweet, nice gesture. Right. So. this is, so, A cake is big, though. Cake is big. However... He should have communicated better with her and saying, hey, because he totally lied and said there wasn't a cookout and there was. Is that what no, I understood? No, oh, they no, were no. Just there by they themselves. were just there. It was like him and the girlfriend okay. having a dinner. So what? So he he should just be like, hey, like. I, yeah, she maybe should have been like, hey, can I make the cake for you? Because I like when I, I make cakes and I always ask like, right. Or I it, talk with people. It's hard because again, a cake is a big thing. Yes, for a birthday. It would be like one thing if it was like I made him a cupcake or I, like and I took a cupcake over. Yeah. yeah. That's different than like a cake. I agree. Do, yeah. So he maybe like, I think if the girlfriend, like kind of when your friends are dating someone, if you have guy friends, you do have to kind of step yeah, back you have to like defer a little bit yeah and like i mean and that's even the case with like like if jackie started dating somebody yeah i would i would like you talk would to text him and be like hey like what's the plan for jackie's birthday i want to make sure the she yellow m&m &M and say yeah i would <laughs> yeah text him up and, but it's i think it's i think like what you were saying is like it's especially important if it's like your guy friend or for you your girlfriends right. to like reach out to their significant others because they're the ones who really have like the last say on what happens on really those though, kind of yeah because like if he always has a, a barbecue, but then they're changing it, like that's- And the plan has changed, that means plans have changed. Yeah, right. so then she should have texted and said like, to the other, the girlfriend and say like, hey, like I was like, I don't know what your guys' plans are, but like, 
I was thinking of doing this. Yeah, like, what what do you think? And she would have been like, oh, we have the cake covered, but, like, that's so nice. Yeah. Well, and could have said, but he loves... Yeah, like, you could bring a bag of Cheetos Mm -hmm. if you want and drop it off later, like... Right. And it's so hard because it's such a nice thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so nice, but but you have to respect. Right. And I... I feel like it would be hard to be in the girlfriend's shoes. Mm-hmm. Like I, yeah. I'm looking at it from the point of view of like if I was dating a girl, and another guy showed up with a cake, and we were like sitting down having a nice birthday dinner, and like I had just made a cake, I'd be like, "Who's this guy?" Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. And even yeah. if it was like yeah. a good friend of hers that I knew, I w- it would still be weird Mm -hmm. yeah i do appreciate that her friend was like hey thanks for the cake that was really nice but you were overstepping like to to not like completely disavow his friendship with her but to like he handled set boundaries and but put it out there and be like and support his girlfriend like and say like she's right like you should have you know, talk yeah. to and figured out what the plan was before you right. bring over a whole cake. Yeah, because I think <laughs> I think you do need to back your per- the person you're dating. Yeah, like you e- like I don't know, like maybe not about everything, obviously, but like about s- their feelings. Like, yeah, you feelings need and to boundaries. Totally just be like, like yeah, she didn't love it, so like let's not do that again. Nice gesture though. Like if well, you and, said and it something and like that. and like he said, I appreciate it. But I feel like yeah, it oversteps. Yeah, I think he handled like, it great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like an awkward situation all around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And like it's not. And girlfriend will, it'll roll, like blow over. Sure. And it'll be fine. Yeah. But so did she yell at her? Or like. It doesn't say, say yell. It just says when I left, she followed me at, outside and told me that it was a nice gesture, but I should have asked one of them before bringing a whole other cake over. Which is that's to- absolutely you know, that's accurate. Totally and valid. that's where I say, like, I don't feel like any of them like overreacted in any way. No, I it's think- like a hard and an awkward situation mm-hmm. for all three of them. Yeah, which I, <laughs> I do can understand. Like, if if like I'm friends with a guy. And I do this for him every year. And then yeah. all, like that is a tough position to be in if like all of a sudden the roles kind of change. But at like, the same time, I don't think either of you would would like think twice about being like, oh, well, I should text so and so and and like no. offer. Yeah, yeah. At I least. Would, well, because if my guy friend is dating someone, I want to be besties with her. Right. You know yeah. You're going to assume that like that is the person, the, the point person uh-huh. for like this birthday or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'll text Kate's girlfriend and see My what. My boo thing. Your, his boo thing and see what's going on and then see if I can help in any way. Yeah. That's where it kind of gets into that tricky like friend of like somebody that you like could be interested in because you don't want to be that person that's like, well, I'm allowed to do that, which it kind of sounds like she did say that. Like, she right. has feelings. So there. she might have well, feelings. But, it, but it's also hard because it. like you say, if it's something that they've been friends for years and she has done this for years. But she yeah. hasn't. Oh, but she hasn't because yeah. they, they bought the cake from the bakery. So it'd be different Ooh. if she had like Ooh. texted the girlfriend and said like, hey, I'm starting to come so around. You know, <laughs> yeah. His favorite bakery is closed. Like, what's the cake sitch? Like, yeah. And yeah. say like, this is the kind of right. cake he likes, you know, do you want help making it or would you do you want to take a stab at it like whatever that would have been way different do you want to try to make it together yeah like i don't know yeah because like there's a difference like obviously she probably knows him better than his girlfriend because they've been friends for could be maybe maybe could but and that's a hard position for the girlfriend but then but how do we know that the girlfriend's not just like one of their friends right that they started you know but then you should like lift up the girlfriend and be like hey like Let's I'm, make his I'm birthday sure you awesome. Have so many so cool sorry, Queen. Planned. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally. But just be I, like, I know this about him. He really likes this, or this is something he enjoys. Like, do you want help with it? Like, I can help you. Like, but it's kind of like you need to be supporting the girlfriend instead of like right. being like, Against. I'm gonna do my own thing and you can't tell me what to do. Well, and, and that's where I snack. say yeah. the cake, like the the hard thing for me is like a cake is so big. That's and so if someone is like i am not doing anything for my birthday and i will be like alone and or just me and my girlfriend i wouldn't think like 
I'm going to make a whole cake. That's where I would be no. like, could I bring a cupcake over? Or like, can I bring a treat? A or can I bring, <laughs> yeah, like a, something a little small thing. Yeah, like a personal, yeah. Because I think the girlfriend's reaction would have been different too. If yeah. it was like, I brought a cupcake over to and like, I clearly tell you happy the, birthday. The giant cake, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I think, you know? Yeah, because I think, yeah, nothing was inherently bad. Like, mm-hmm. and that, I don't think any intention was wrong. No, because she's like, I want to bring my Not friend Not as far something. as she said, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true, I guess. Because, like, I don't know. Yeah, you just, if you're bringing a cake, you got to ask. You got to. That's a big thing it, to bring. Yeah, run, yeah. It, run it past a few people. Right. Know? Well, like for um, Evan and Victoria, their birthday, they were doing like a combined birthday party thing. And so I was like, I'm like, I would love to make the cake for you. But and they're like, yeah, like if you want to, you know, like super nice about it. But like, I would never just be like, I brought a cake. And then Tori's like, right. well, I made a cake for I made you know? a cake actually, like, yeah. so thanks. Yeah, yeah. So you just gotta, with planning anything, you gotta run it past like, this is what my plan is. Does that work? You Understand know? who like the point person is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure, yeah. And you should be on the team of the people that your friends are dating, you know, totally. Yeah. If, Big time. Yeah, so you can... <laughs> best way to support your friend yeah you know it's like yeah, unless they and suck no. well and that's the and that's the hard thing too is i'm like i don't know enough about this girlfriend there's a lot of backstory but, that's missing but even like the girl who's writing this didn't say like she screamed at me and like no. you know yeah the way that she and so i'm like if even if you as like the the person who thinks maybe they are in the wrong, like she didn't embellish wrong, the story yeah exactly and you are not saying like <laughs> She screamed at me and like. And she pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> she threw the cake in my <laughs> she face. She smashed my face in the cake. <laughs> yeah, so where there's none of that, and like, that leads me to believe this girlfriend is like probably not awful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. probably fine. <laughs> Anyways, that's yeah. all I have. That was fun. Yeah, Good topic. a little change of pace. Kind of fun. <laughs> and there's a lot of them on the internet, so maybe we'll do them again sometime. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um. Okay. Have you guys seen that trend on TikTok that's like, this is my girl dinner. And then it's girl like, girl dinner. dinner. <laughs> yeah. So I want to know like if you guys have girl dinners and what those look like for you. So explain to the folks at home. So a girl dinner. <laughs> and um, also Jackie. So, Just so they understand. Yeah. <laughs> so a girl dinner is kind of like. It's not, heard, it's, it's not it's not really it's stuff a meal that you make it's you, stuff that you like gather you from gather. what you have. So it's not a it's it is a meal in the sense that it is you eat it and you are full. Yeah. But it's not a meal in the sense that you prepare nothing. It's it's not cohesive. You're not like cooking in the kitchen. You're it's not you making are just, like, macaroni and cheese. And okay, got it. You're just like going into your pantry and your fridge like a goblin and creating a plate. Yeah. Got it. I can go. Oh, okay. Go so ahead. I always have pickles on hand. I love pickles. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So sometimes if I'm like, oh, I got to be fast. I'll like I have um, baby bell cheeses. <gasps> you're you're speaking my language. Yeah, girl. <laughs> so baby or yeah, baby bell cheeses, pickles and then like pretzels. Like I okay. have um, either Doc's pretzels or the the flatties. Um. Oh, uh-huh. the pretzel chips, the yeah. buffalo flavor. Ooh. So then I'll just like grab all of that and then like just eat it really fast and then go. Awesome. But I usually like I try to meal prep stuff out so then I never have girl dinners. But sometimes it happens. <laughs> so. Yeah, girl dinner is not planned. Yeah, no. never planned. No. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Thanks. That's good too because it's like, it's like different. They're not in the same food group. Like, it's, yeah, it's not like, yeah, it's not like only four crackers. different types of cheese. Yeah, or like four <laughs> yeah that would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, who could ever do that? <laughs> Good. That's my girl dinner. I like it. That's yeah, awesome. I always, always, always have pickles at my house because I Smart. love them. I also have pickle in a bag. I've talked about this on the podcast. I don't like those. I love pickles. <laughs> don't like those. Sorry. You, none of them. Not even the garlic mama? Mm-mm. Hmm. Yeah, me neither. 
Garlic mama. I think it's called big pickles. Big. Oh. Big pickles um, freak me out. I don't like them. You don't like them from Disneyland? Mm. Oh my gosh! For some reason, I thought you did. No, I love pickles. I love Spears. pickle chips. Okay. I'll eat a spear. <gasps> Fried pickles. Fried pickles. Oh mm. hell yeah! Cash me outside. How about that? Um, Texas Roadhouse. Petites. Okay. Like the little baby ones. Oh my gosh, I, I haven't those. had a little baby in forever. Oh really? Them. That's mm. that is my jam right there. Really? A jar of baby pickles. I need to get some. Also, bread and butter pickles. What are your thoughts? Mm-mm. Okay, Mm-mm. yeah, me. Dill. We are a the dill house. Famous do spicy pickles. Oh, good is. heavens! <laughs> One time. Goodness I- gracious! <laughs> One time. Oh, my stars. <laughs> we were. I was at work, and um, we were driving. We just had two kids, so Lauren and I were driving them home, and she's like, should we go to 7-Eleven? And so we got them, like, some, like, a treat or something. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm going to get a Dave Spicy pick. Dave's Dave Spicy pickles. Yes. And then I got some Pop-Tarts and then a Diet Coke. And I was like- A girl dinner if I ever seen <laughs> one. <laughs> That is a girl dinner. Yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, so good. And I'm like eating this pickle. And then I'm like, oh, because I, I eat the zesty ones, like from Vlasic or whatever uh-huh. it's called. And so I'm like, eh, nothing. And then I'm eating They're that hot. one. And holy cow, and I'm sweating. <laughs> and the kids are like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. Like, I, couldn't, I could not finish the pickle. I try as I might, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. I won't try those. It, yeah, or I have the ta- tapatio one. Mm-hmm. Also rough. It really? was rough. Yeah. I it, love tapatio. I, I do too. But and so I thought, but it was just like made my lips like actually chap. Oh dang! Unfortunately. <laughs> Did that say Spencer Lee? Huh? Never mind. Was that? What's your girl dinner? Um. Squirrel dinner. My like <laughs> just, just a, a pile of nuts. <laughs> my like. Classic girl <laughs> dinner that I've eaten since I was in high school is a can of pears <laughs> and cottage um, cheese. No, not cottage Hell cheese. Yeah, that's good. A pears can of pears, slaps. some kind of cheese. So maybe cottage cheese. Like a brie. No. A gouda. More like a <laughs> mozzarella stick. And then um, a slice of American. Yeah. <laughs> and then some kind of like bread, like either like crackers or like if I had like Hawaiian rolls or something like that. And then deli meat. That was like. The oh, whole yeah. Thing. You like deli meat plain. I do. I forgot that. about. How you. did you know that about me? <laughs> We've talked about it somewhat recently. Really? Huh? Maybe. It, no, you didn't go boating with us. I was like, no, maybe I it was didn't. when we went boating. Or maybe you told me when we went boating, like, Morgan loves deli meat. Interesting. Maybe. I I can't remember. I don't remember. But somehow I knew that you were were a fan. Like, she'll eat deli meat meat and then, like, a cheese. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't Like, a a Lunchable that's not a Lunchable. Yeah. Maybe it was boating. I think it might have been when we were eating Lunchables and you were like, too bad Morgan's not here. She loves deli meat or something (laughs) like that. (laughs) That's what they know about me. She that was. has to have been when it was. Yeah. It see I mean, I can't remember it like word Vividly. for word, but yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah. I bring you up all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was talking to Stacy. She's like, wait, so are you going to Disney this week? And I was like, I was like, no, like I'm going to New York. And she's like, with Morgan? And I was like, no, Morgan's not coming. And she's like, then who are you going? <laughs> who else funny. do you know? I know she's like, I thought you had the one friend. Aww. But yeah. She's like, I know Morgan. I don't know this other girl yeah. that you're talking about. Yeah. You're we gonna do have love so much Carly. Fun, we do. Yeah, big Carly fans up in here. Yeah. Yeah, I just hasn't never gone on a trip with Carly before. So that's Honestly, always been asking. Carly will probably be a great person to yeah, travel with. She probably will be. Yeah. Yeah. A that's my companion. girl dinner. I also like um just buttered noodles. Plain plate of noodles with a little bit of butter. Uh-huh. It's the only thing you need. Maybe some Parmesan if I have it. Dang. That's too fancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> just buttered noodles. I'm good. <laughs> I've never had that. It's good. Okay. Okay. What about you? Um, Mine you're is... You're a boy, but you're still allowed to have No, one. I have girl dinner <laughs> quite frequently, girl actually. Girl dinner. <laughs> it... 
always <laughs> involves some sort of a crunchy. Okay. So I don't necessarily have food groups. I have like you have- vibe. Profile like vibe <laughs> groups, so there's yeah. always a crunchy, a crunchy, which is usually like Takis or goldfish. Do you like the blue Takis? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah. I like the blue ones better than the red. I think. Mm, yeah, cool. I can get behind that. Um, <laughs> so Takis or goldfish. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much the only crunchy that I'll accept. Okay. Um, and then you also have like a sweet component. So maybe like a small bowl of uh, peanut M&M's mm-hmm. or <gasps> her husband. <laughs> <laughs> he is a peanut M&M, peanut butter M&M. Sorry. Oh, he's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband is safe. <laughs> For now. I'm going after, which one did we decide was the peanut M&M, peanut butter? The green. Green. Green is peanut butter. That makes butter. a lot of sense. The slutty mm. one. <laughs> we don't slut shame. She's fine. I was going to say, this is a first on this podcast. No, she's beautiful. <laughs> uh, so the sweet, yeah, usually like a little peanut butter M and M's, maybe some Oreos, mm. possibly some Peeps. Mm. <laughs> Where do you find Peeps at a time like this? So what I do is I go to the store after Halloween and after Easter, like the day after, and then you just buy all their candy for really cheap. Very nice. We actually did that, and I got these, re- or their Hershey marshmallow eggs. They were so good. And yeah. I have to wait. You buy them for so cheap. Yeah. yeah. So I got like 15 <laughs> bags of peanut butter M&Ms after Easter. That just have a bunny rabbit, like bunny ears they on t- them. I, they're the same. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You know? You're right. Brilliant. So it's like, I, it's not my fault. Not my fault you guys are, yeah. Not not my fault you guys bought too many. And then <laughs> I reap the benefit by buying them for 50 cents the day no, after Easter. they're like 50 they're cents. They're so crazy. Like well, because they're bag. like, no one wants these anymore. And I'm like. Actually, I do. Thank yeah, you very they, much. They, they, they're like, yeah, they expire the day. No, they don't. Well, I think it's just more that they they look at it as like, well, people aren't going to want to buy them because there's an Easter bunny on it. No, totally. No, yes. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. It's Easter like, all year me. round. Yeah. I'm will. saying they act like, well, they don't want them. Right. I'm like, yeah, we do. And they so were, they were fresh yesterday. That's my reward. <laughs> um, so like a little um so you got crunchy crunchy sweet. and then you have like a sweet and okay. a soda but then uh some chalky milk oh or some regular <laughs> milk uh some lactose of some kind okay so chocolate or regular milk either one will nice. do in a pinch and then <laughs> and then finally you have the health option which ties girl dinner together, okay. which is like a cut up pepper or like a handful of baby carrots. <laughs> Something where you're like, this one thing redeems this all these This outweighs <laughs> the crunchy and the sweet and the chocolate milk groups yeah. by itself. This pepper is doing a lot of work here. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's work. <laughs> but yeah, that's a girl dinner I have a lot. <laughs> that's so funny very nice <laughs> yeah because there's so many times when i get home and i'm like i would rather die than make any food mm-hmm. yeah sometimes you just gotta throw a plate together and call mm-hmm. it a day <laughs> girl dinner i love that <laughs> my sisters did a girl dinner last week at, at my sister mari's house and my niece is two and so they were all like laughing and seeing that as they were like doing make because they just made like a charcuterie board right, basically and yeah. like had that for dinner. Mm-hmm. And so now my niece, I guess, has been singing it like Girl nonstop. Girl dinner, <laughs> that's so cute. That is so cute. I saw a boy that was like, "This is my boy dinner," and he like sang "Boy Dinner," <laughs> and it was just a can of Baja Blast Mountain Dew with one of those like sugar cookies you can get from the grocery store on top I, of it. I feel that in so many ways. You gotta do and and that's where I say I think girl dinner is for everyone. Yeah, it is. that's the platform I'm running. I'm running for president. <laughs> <laughs> and my slogan is girl dinner is for everyone. It is. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks Maybe I gave time. you some ideas for your next girl dinner. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got some from both of you guys. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Um, like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at No Bummers. If you want to follow our personal pages, that's nice of you. <laughs> K. Dot Larson, Mo Jarman, mm-hmm. 
Miss Jackie Charlotte. <laughs> it's your own one. And then it's Trent W. Photo. Trent W. Photo. He has some cool little photography stuff on there. Yeah, he just took a really cool picture of me surfing. It was so Ooh. freaking cute. I was like, look at those dimples. Yeah, it was it was pretty sick. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, real uh, talented fella. Cool. Also, um comment down below what's your girl dinner? Yeah, give me more ideas. <laughs> you do you do girl dinner of like crackers cheese and applesauce you eat that a lot i do eat that a lot Very no cute. dairy no uh lunch meats not all the time that's just a special the lunch occasion. meat is a special treat yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys we'll bye everyone see you next time bye